What is going on everybody? Yvonne here and today we're going to cover one of the most popular and powerful solutions for a CRM on the market, Zoho. Zoho has a ton of products available on the market and CRM is one of them and the reason why the platform is so popular just because it can do so many different things. Now whether you guys are just starting out in your business journey or you already have an established operation, having a powerful CRM can do wonders for you guys' efficiency and productivity. So today we're going to cover a step-by-step -step setup of how to organize you guys' CRM and how to get started with the platform. We're going to cover different things like contact records, pipeline management, and different automations and see exactly how it can be useful for you guys' business. So let's get right into it. Now this is a step-by-step -step video and if you guys do want to follow along with everything that I'm doing, there's going to be a link down in the description that's going to give you an exclusive trial of the platform. So once we've clicked on the link, all we got to do is press get started for free and let's go ahead and sign up with our email right over here. Boom, and once that information is entered in, let's go ahead and press sign up for free and choose the CRM option as a product feature that we're interested in. Press access CRM now and as a final step go ahead and enter your guys's company name and your guys's phone number press get started and you guys are going to be ready to go now i'm gonna go ahead and pull up a test account here with some information already entered in and that way it's going to be a little easier for you guys to follow along so first things first let's go ahead and understand exactly what our options here on their navigation bar there's going to be the lead section and all of our leads that we're currently working on are going to be in there then there's going to be the contact section and at this point in time they may not be a lead and that's why they didn't make the cut then different companies that we're working with and the website that's associated with them deal records and pretty much here we can see how much the deal is worth what stage it's in what account name is associated with and all the different contacts that are associated with it as well and there's also different things like tasks meeting calls which we can actually all do within one platform and that way nothing slips through the cracks in addition to that if you are using any other softwares what i'd personally do is go to the app marketplace right over here you can go ahead and connect them to you guys Zoho crm and that way everything is integrated together again as you guys see right over here zoho has a ton of different products that are associated with it ranging from marketing to sales features for this video we are going to focus on the crm options here so to start off what is a module in zoho pretty much what it means is going to be one of these guys whether it be in leads contacts or accounts it's pretty much going to be that specific category so for example if we go ahead and click on carissa kidman we can see all the information that's associated with her such as her email phone number lead information all the stuff like that and right here on the left hand side there's going to be different things that are associated with her as well like different social links campaigns, emails, meetings, stuff like that. But you might be asking yourself, hey, what if I want to change this? What we got to do to do that is press on the setup button right over here, click on modules and fields. And if we're working with leads or contacts or accounts, go ahead and select one of those. Let's go ahead and select leads for example purposes. And this way, different things like layout, layout rules, validation rules, fields, we can actually modify it right from here. So for example, on the specific layout here that we saw earlier, like the lead owner, first name, last name, stuff like that, we can actually modify it the way it looks like. We can go ahead and add different fields that Zoho offers right over here, or there's up to 300 different custom fields, which we can add as well. Again, a lot of these things do kind of depend on your guys' business and how sophisticated the process is. But the point I'm trying to make here is that you can customize it to a very large extent. Now you might be asking yourself, cool, Yvonne, I understand how to customize a contact record. However, how do I actually get in the information inside of my CRM? And the way we do so is we got to go ahead, press right over here, import contacts. And it's really straightforward as we can actually integrate other CRMs to our platform, or we can use a CSV and get information from there. You can go ahead and import up to 5,000 different records, and it's really straightforward from there, as you can go ahead and later match different properties to make sure that the information syncs really well to you guys' system. From my experience, for most people, as they're looking to figure out which CRM fits them the best, they are going to be coming from spreadsheets or some systems like that, so the CSV option is going to be the best for them. However, if you are coming from another CRM platform, I'll go ahead and integrate it with Zoho, and that way that data sync can be much easier. And as you guys are adding information about your guys' contacts, accounts, leads, deals, stuff like that, we want to make sure that we minimize the manual work as much as possible. And the way that we do that is through adding different automations into place. So to access those, all we got to do is press the gear button right over here, go to workflow rules, and we can see that there's an example he already made for us. So for example, if we click on the big deal rule, we can see that when the deal amount is going to be over a thousand dollars and the probability is going to be a hundred percent, that's when we get that specific alert. And this is going to be crucial whenever you guys are working with many different deals because that way nothing slips through the cracks and you can put as many touches on those important deals as much as possible but again when it comes to these rules you can create them pretty easily and the way that's going to look like is just press the create rule button right over here press which module you want to affect it whether it be leads contacts accounts deals etc so let's go ahead and select contacts the rule name is going to be test description is going to be blank for now and again right over here we can go ahead and select that when something happens then we're going to 
go ahead and record a certain action. It's gonna go ahead and edit something and we can go ahead and choose a field that's gonna get modified. Again, you guys get the point and setting up these automations is gonna be crucial for you guys' growth. Because if we go to the contact record right over here, all this information we can actually filter on the left-hand side when it comes to the deals, notes, or activities that are associated with that specific contact. And the reason why those automations are gonna be really crucial because as you guys do grow your list, you don't wanna get lost in the weeds when it comes to a specific deal or something you're working on. And that way that automation is gonna take care of it for you guys. But you can actually filter based on specific properties as well. So for example, if I wanna go ahead and figure out who the deal owner is or deal amount, all I gotta do is press on the deal amount right over here, have it equal to $1,000. And if I press apply filter, it's gonna give me all the contact records that are associated with that specific deal. And again, this is a test account. So if I do run it on this, as you guys see, no information does come up. However, as you guys are gonna be putting more information into your guys' CRM, we need to stay organized and figure out how to do so in a most productive way. And that's why different things like automations can come a long way for you guys' productivity. And again, when it comes to automations, there's a bunch of other things like different actions, schedules, assignments, scoring rules, stuff like that. What I personally do is actually log into the platform, play around with it because it's going to be very unique to you guys' business and which rules you guys build. But the most important thing we have to do right now is to get all you guys' information in there as well as tie you guys' email and other platforms to the system. So to tie you guys' email to the system, all we got to do is go in the settings section right over here, press email, and from here, go ahead and select the email option. And we must make sure that the emails are connected because that way we can actually have everything go from one system. Look, and the reason I'm saying all these things about essential system is because I've seen so many different times when people have spreadsheets or posted notes and things slip through the cracks. And look, I'm telling you, nothing feels worse when losing deals and customers could have been prevented. And look, you guys got to remember the way that the CRM works is that each specific lead is tied to a specific account and that's tied to a specific deal. And we can see all this information right over here. So if we go in the deal section, we can actually see a specific deal name, a specific deal owner who's associated with it, the contact name and the amount. So in this case, the deal name and the account name are gonna be the same, but again, a lot of times they can differ, especially if you're working with a specific business on different products and services. And again, all these modules can be edited with the way I showed you guys earlier, where we go to the modules editor. And the point I'm trying to make here is when it comes to deals, company records, or contact records, all those things are gonna be unique to your guys' business. So we need to make sure that we customize those modules accordingly, so those important properties are gonna be there right in front of you guys. Because again, as you guys are doing that outreach, we wanna make sure that all all that information inside your guys' CRM can actually be used towards your guys' outreach efforts. So for example, if we go to the template feature right over here, we see that there's a sample big deal alert. And if we go ahead and click on that, we can see this custom email that's gonna be sent out. And look, this can be used for both internal and external communication. So for example, if we know what our prospect's favorite color is, we can go ahead and add that as one of our fields in the module. And that way, as we're reaching out to them, we can actually put their favorite color in the email. This is gonna be more important than ever in the current day because there's so much much junk out there in terms of emails. So we want to personalize these as much as we can. And that's why having all that information in one place so it can actually work all together is going to be really crucial for us. And at the end of the day, we want to see what's working, what's not. So what I would personally do is press this button right over here, go to the reports. And here we can go ahead and customize or make our own reports where you can have all information right in front of you. And again, these reports are going to fall under different categories when it comes to vendor reports, email reports, deal reports, stuff like that. You can go ahead and organize them through different different report names, descriptions, or even folders. So if we want to go ahead and create a report, the way it's going to look like is if we press the create report button right over here, we can actually associate it with this specific module, right? Where it'd be a contact, lead, company record, deal size, whatever it is. And again, you guys can customize these reports, but the way that the final product is going to look like is going to be heavily dependent on the module that you're actually reporting it for. So for example, if I go to top templates by click rate, I can actually see all of our top templates, how many were sent, how many bounced, how many tracked, all the information when it comes to our emails and the actual templates that we're sending out. You can literally build these reports on countless different variables than you guys' CRM. And I would make sure to use that because as you guys are growing your guys' business, we really want to have that information on what is working, what is not, so we can double down on one thing or another. And as you guys are learning about the Zoho platform, I know I covered the basics when it comes to CRM, but there's so much more that it has to offer. If we click on the other modules, ranging from analytics to products to quotes, sales orders, stuff like that, there's so much information that can be stored inside of Zoho 
Zoho. And that way you could do all your guys' business in one place. And if you're someone like me that likes to have efficiency, that hates logging in, logging out out of different platforms, Zoho is going to be a really good platform for you. And look, to make your guys' life easier, all that information that I just mentioned is going to be right here in front of you guys in the dashboard. Again, of course, you guys can go ahead and modify it. But all that information when it comes to your guys' open deals, your untouched deals, how many calls you made, and all your open tasks, meetings, you guys can actually see it right from here. So if you guys have a team or you're trying to stay organized for your own self, having the Zoho platform is going to be really useful for you. And there you guys have it. That was a basic step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your guys' Zoho CRM. Whether you guys are just starting out your business journey or you already have an existing operation, implementing Zoho into your workflow can make a huge difference. On this channel, we make videos when it comes to different tools, platforms, and different ways to start and grow your guys' business. I hope you guys have been able to enjoy this video. And if you want to try out the Zoho platform for yourself, please make sure to use the link down in the description as it tremendously helps support the channel at no cost to you. If you got some value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, peace.